Uh, my name's David Chatfield. And I'm a crew commander at Watford Fire Station. My role is very much, I, I see it as making sure that everybody I work with is comfortable in their role and, and doing their job. I do take pride in making sure that they are happy with what they're doing and we do obviously attend challenging incidents and their mental welfare after an incident is always on the forefront of my mind. I recommend um, taking part in physical activity to promote um, not just physical fitness but mental well-being. Personally I find that if I've had a stressful day whether it be at work or in my personal life that sometimes just by going and doing some physical exercise it it allows you time to just sort of take your mind away from things. You know, you, you start to concentrate on, on what you're doing and what you're participating in. And at the end of it, you always feel better. I think uh, I've learned over the last few years, um, different techniques. I think before I was very guarded. Um, I didn't really discuss it. I just sort of dealt with it on my own. You always have discussions on the watch and you talk, you know, make sure, is everybody okay? And it was a little bit maybe a stigma around it years ago. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. But realistically, I think it definitely starts to take its toll on people. Um, for me personally, we trialed co-responding and I attended uh, a lot of incidents which turned out to be fatal. And where I've attended nasty RTCs or house fires where there's a lot of carnage and devastation, and you can almost understand why somebody's died when you start turning up to people who have had a heart attack and they're in their house and there's no damage, there's nothing to sort of show you why this has happened. It's just, you know, someone's fallen ill and it's happened and you see the family and you, you speak to the, the, the wife or the husband. Um, that I found a bit more challenging. That's when it really hit home for me um, because I found the number of uh, fatal incidents I attended really did go up and again I was very guarded and I think it started to have a negative impact on my personal life. I was a little bit moody when I went home, a bit distant and it sort of started to cause a bit of friction at home. So I think the way I dealt with it was I've got some professional help I did speak to um, the counselling service that the service offered. Their main bit of advice really was that you need to be able to express yourself, you need to talk and find who you're comfortable talking to with me, it's my partner. So by going home and actually explaining to her what I'd been through in that day, what I dealt with, the outcome, how it made me feel, it was a good way of just getting it off my chest and it did make me feel better afterwards. My early days, my watch commander always told me that you attend an incident, you've not caused it, it's nothing to do with you, you turn up, you give 100%, you try your hardest to deal with that incident the right way and the outcome is what the outcome is as long as you can walk away and say i've tried my hardest i've done everything i could i think that's probably the best bit of advice i've got could ever pass on to um, anybody else who's in the service or in any other any other situation you know, as long as you can say i've tried i did my best it wasn't my fault i think that's a good way to deal with it